hi guys welcome to my channel so this video is more like a story time video of my trip to nigeria going to nigeria was my first time so what i'm showing you right now was a form that was given to us or i would say a leaflet that was given to us in the airplane that was from germany on our way down to abuja um so you have to fill this in so make sure you have a pen a pen with you and um, they ask questions like your name the address of where you're going to so it's good you have that kind of information handy frankfurt airport was really massive guys i'm telling you make sure if you're traveling with kids try not to carry too much hand luggages because it's that big the food we had um i chose pasta for the kids it wasn't nice it was really cold but activity wise the kids were given activities to do which was really 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 awesome i really liked that the kids had their headphones with them so they get to watch really nice movies and, and then they also had really awesome game awesome games on the on the iPads so that was that was really nice and I will recommend you getting earplugs especially for the kids as you can see my daughter was holding her ears because it was a bit too loud and my little boy was also complaining that his ears were hurting him so I will recommend you taking something like that with you um another thing as well it was it was a bit chilly in the plane so I will recommend you dress a bit warm none of us had jacket but we all had like a cardigan or uh, jumper so I recommend you taking something like that with you as well the plane all together it was nice and smooth we arrived right on time we left right on time as you can see guys our luggage is right so we're entitled to 23 kg but each one of us I think went above that so if you get to the airport early you can they will let you go in with at least 23.5 or 23.8 because ours was almost 23.9 so they let us in we were not charged for it we arrived in abuja it was so so hot guys really really hot as you can see one thing you should be aware of are plenty of people that are ready to help you out but you have to be very very careful because you don't know which one is genuine because sometimes they will steal from you our final destination, guys, was not Abuja. It was Anambra. So we were actually spending a whole time in the village. So in the morning when we arrived, we went for a walk. We stayed at our brother, my, at my brother-in-law's place. Yeah, 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 so as walk. you can see, we so went for a lizard see. hunt, guys. Watch. Where is it? Where's the lizard? Where's the lizard? Where's the lizard? Where's the lizard? Oh, there it is. Hello. That's our first lizard, guys. <laughs> guys, it was so amazing. We ate a lot, a lot. Like, I just tried to eat food that I couldn't eat that much hair. So we had stuff like suya and we went out and had some fish later on and some plantain. Abuja Road was really nice. Um, They had, obviously, street lights. It is a capital city, but one thing that really amazed me, guys, was I saw cows on the road, and then the boy that was leading the cows, like an eight-year-old boy, like that was so, so uh, like that, I mean, that really amazed me. As you can see, guys, like I just, I was living the life. All I wanted to do was just eat, eat, and eat. Oh, that's the um, petrol station. Um, yeah, so it was, it was really fun. Like this is the petrol station, so you, you get served. You don't serve yourself like UK. It's totally different. It's the same everywhere in Africa. To be fair. Eh? um yeah so the weather is really really hot always make sure that you have your sun sun cream on that's that's if you believe in it but um yeah we went out for a drive just to see around the place abuja was a really really nice place but it's super super hot guys when i tell you it's hot it was super super hot trust me but yeah, so we went, we left the next day. This was on our way back, us going to Anambra, the village, guys. I was so excited. Um, the, This is their local airport, right? So the international airport and the local airport is two different places. This is the local airport. We sat down, we waited for our plane. We took airpiece, amazingly, came right on time. We left, I think the, the, the flight was just an hour. I really can't remember. 
but the turbulence was really really scary that's the only thing and then they charge extra one kg per kilo guys so we had to pay extra because we came with 23 kg each from uk and airpiece only allow you to carry on 15 kg on their plane so any extra you have to pay for it so we ended up paying for extra 88 kg for our hand our suitcases which cost i think we ended up spending like forty thousand naira something around that it wasn't too bad to be fair trust me guys it, it wasn't too bad this is us landed we've landed in anambra guys and oh my god as you can see the kids are not smiling <laughs> <laughs> this was me forcing them to smile because the, the sun was just too hot for them they, 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 you know but anyway my husband was the one behind the camera guys and this is my little boy look at him <laughs> i had to give my um my daughter well my husband gave my daughter one of the hand luggages just because he wanted to do the video so don't worry guys <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was it was fun i was so excited when we landed in anambra and one amazing thing it, the weather there was not as bad as abuja anambra was a bit chilled compared to abuja which was one thing i really loved and this is me meeting with my sister-in-law and my other my brother-in-law and my co-wife guys i was so excited seeing them you need to see the way i ran when i saw them like the way we hugged each other it was it was so nice guys yeah so this is anambra I don't even know what's the name of this airport now, but it's one of the airports in Anambra, guys. And we had a situation where the police at the gate stopped us and they refused to make us go past because they wanted money from us. And I said to myself, do you know what? I'm going to film this. Like we had to, my brother-in-law had to give them, I think 3,000 Naira. That's one thing that put me off too much begging. Like people are asking for money so much. Like it's so annoying. Um... It was amazing seeing people selling on the streets. We have something very similar to that in Sierra Leone as well. And this is us getting close to Oka, I think. Or oh, this is on our way to Oka because we have to go past Oka and get to the village, which the village we were going to is called Agoluizibo. And yeah, guys, so I told them I need to see at the front because I need to do a video. So please, guys, if you're still watching right now, subscribe, like and comment. OK, right. So this is on our way to the village. And altogether, that trip lasted again another um i think 45 minutes to an hour the road was smooth there are a few places that it was a bit bumpy but it wasn't too bad guys it wasn't too bad at all and then on our way we go we drove past this agulizibo lake this is where it says welcome to agulizibo this is us at the village we drove past the lake um it's a lake that is known for, for crocodiles um yeah so it was amazing it was really amazing seeing that and yeah guys keep watching i just laughed guys in the background because my sister-in-law mentioned in the car that one of the plan was to get a drummer to welcome me at the airport <laughs> so obviously they couldn't go with that plan because there was a bit they were a bit scared because of security i think that was one of one of that was the only thing that put me off in nigeria the security is it's not that good whilst in Sierra Leone you don't really have to worry about security like the way they do in Nigeria but you know all the kidnapping and stuff like that so they they had to do everything really low-key so that was the only thing I would point out that I didn't like um but yeah apart from that it was it was it was good anyways um another thing was right we were the plan was to surprise my mother-in-law my mother-in-law had no idea and everybody kept saying oh she we don't want her to maybe like faint or pass out because of over excitement so i think you should tell her you should tell her so we that was so the whole time we planned that trip Everyone else knew except her and, and my father-in-law. So this is my sister-in-law and my co-wife going in to let them know that they are visitors, but they don't know which visitors they were going on about. So let them just come and stand outside. So they, they went with the floor, really. So <laughs> they came out, stood outside, and then they thought maybe it was just a friend. 
and then <laughs> guys driving into the compound my mother-in-law look at the way she was looking into the car trying to figure out like oh wait i, I think i know that face i know that face <laughs> that's my mother-in-law hugging my husband and that's my father-in-law oh my god like like she was she was the happiest of happiest person ever like seeing her son like it was it, oh, and my grandkids and it was my first time as well meeting with them and look at them they were giving all praises to god like my 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 in-laws are very godly people and my father-in-law is a priest so yeah you will understand that so this is when the food started coming like there were more foods coming like people were just bringing foods guys at this point in time i just said you know what there's nothing like diet right now i'm just gonna go for it and the kids saw a big massive compound look at them they're playing football you know, it's not like the UK where you just get to stay in the house the whole time. Like you have to, you, you get to go out. Like you've got a big, massive compound to run around, play around. And I took a whole massive suitcase of toys for the kids. And we had lots of kids in the house because my husband and the siblings, they are five. And counting all the kids together, they had it um, up to 13 kids in the house. So that was a lot of kids. So I had to entertain them. I said to them, do you know what? I want to win the best award for auntie so i took loads of toys for them so every single day there was activities this is me outside of the compound like there's so many beautiful things that you could see stuff like um orange tree banana tree um yam like there was so much agriculture going on and i saw one of the girls picking this thing well, called a plum um, i've never tried it before but that was my first time i tried it the guys that day i tried it um, so yeah so this is the pool we we did take a pool with us the inflatable pool so the kids loved it guys they were living life because uh, it was really hot so i knew it was something they really would, they would really love so yeah, and look at them, they were so excited, they couldn't even wait to get in, like they actually had to hire a whole massive truck to come and fill the, to, to fill the pool up, but yeah, <laughs> like they went in the pool every single day, they really loved it, because obviously when the weather is hot, you really enjoy activities like this. And um, that's my little boy in the pool, so they, I had like two different pools, I had the green one and the blue one. Guys, watch out for part two. This is the end of part one.